What's up, guys? Toast again from Fish Yacker back here in a man cave. If you hear a little bit of humming, it's like 100 degrees outside, super humid, especially for here in Pennsylvania. I got the AC going over here. But I got a box here I need to open up. It's wedged full of stuff. This one came from Thunderhawk Lures. If you've been watching many of the videos lately, you've seen some of these. These should be some of the Thunderhawk A10s. It's your square build crankbait which you just saw a few days back. I posted up a video on the Susquehanna River catching a really nice muskie on them. These are an awesome lure, small mouth, large mouth, especially like here on the Susquehanna River. This is an awesome lure. Should be a whole bunch of them in there, different colors. We've shown them before in the videos. We've looked at them really closely. I've done some reviews on them. We've even had Mike, Mike Dove from Thunderhawk on the videos that I cast talking about them. But if you stay tuned, in the next month or so, we're probably going to get some footage fishing with Mike on the river. So let's go ahead and open this up and see uh, what all he's got wedged in this box. So guys, got a box here from Thunderhawk Lures. It should be a whole bunch of A10s or square build crankbait. If you're not familiar with an A10, it's just what it is. If you've been in the military, you may know the A10 Warthog. That's what these are designed to kind of model after because they're basically bomb-proof and they can just destroy anything. These things are amazing. They are my favorite square build crankbait of all time because it has an integrated bill in it. We'll take a quick look at them, see how many they sent to us. Again, we've done some videos on them before, but I uh, haven't had this many of them show up. Uh, but... Uh, Let's see what all we got in here. This box is totally, totally wedged full of stuff. But uh, yeah, let's see. Some foam stuffing paper, packing slip, whole bunch of stuff on here. Check this out guys. Yeah whole bunch of stuff in here let's just go through them pretty quickly I'm not going to pull all of them that might take one at the end to show you what it looks like but uh there's one there and again to show you if you're with an a10 warthog the, the the plane you'll notice it's a tank buster that's basically the face that you'll see on the front of the planes and it's got an integrated square build to it and that thing is again they're basically indestructible just like the a10 uh, so this one here, um, that's the, uh, uh, the blue sides there. Check that out. It's got like a blue chartreuse fade down into like a white or a bone. So I uh, got that one there. Oh, this one looks really cool. Um, here's one, <clears throat> one here, clear chartreuse. Similar, but it's got like a milky clear body to it below the chartreuse. Another one here, sunset purple. This is what you call a variety. Maybe I can pull a few of them out similar. Another one, Sunset Purple. It's a pink one. Check this out. That looks cool. So these probably be really good for stripers too. And maybe a uh, speckled trout. Take these back home down south. Where it's supposed to be warm like this, not up here. It's crazy. Here's another one. It's the, uh, again, a clear chartreuse. Another pink. Get a big pile up here in front of me. I'll save some of these really cool ones too. How about that? Yep. The blue sides. That's cool looking. That kind of like fades out there. Hmm. I barely touch the surface on these guys. So a lot of the ones I'm looking at here are going to be perfect for smallmouth, especially on the river. Check this one out. Now I've shown you this one I think in the Sergeant also. Uh, I might have talked about it in the A-10. If you like a crawfish pattern crankbait, take a look at that. It's a red craw. Dude, that's sweet. There's another one here. Um, and yeah, keeping that pattern going. Orange craw. That would be awesome in the Susquehanna. Gizzard Shad. Take a look at that. You can see how that, again, it's a darker back and it fades down. 
Another one, Gizzard Chad. Here's a really cool one here. It's a, I think it's a ghost pattern. It's kind of like a ghost baby bass almost. Look at that. It's clear, clear green, kind of fades down as it goes. It's another one here. Yeah, ghost bluegill. Almost got like a yellow perch looking pattern to it too. Look at that. bright bluegill check that out like blue like purplish and it fades down wow and i'm starting to get them all over the floor now too another ghost bluegill check that out Ooh, check this out the red ear the red ear sunfish look at the touch there on the uh Pattern here with the red. Another one. Another orange craw. I like that. That might be my favorite, especially for the susky smallmouth. Another bright bluegill. I like this cool. I had that purple. It's a cool little tint to it. Asian carp. Again, kind of a shad pattern. It's got some uh, pinkish down there on the bottom of it. Black top. Another one. Getting some really cool ones. There's one I've, I've actually used before, the baby bass. That's what I actually caught that muskie on. They hammered it. Look at that. It's got like glitter on the side. And I think it would definitely attract some fish. Another one. As my pile is getting big. Got a couple more here. Take a look at these guys. There's two of them here. There you go. I've been excited to see that one. It's bone. So it's like an eggshell. Take a look, man. That is cool. That is just cool. So you're looking like a white or a shad pattern. You're uh, got a lot of bait fish around there. Also, muskies love white too, so that would probably be good for muskies. Let's go ahead and, uh, that's all of my got in this box here. But uh, we'll go ahead and open this up. There's your packaging again. As I'm throwing stuff across the room, the back of it. shell looking plastic package it's got the thunderhawk logo at the top split rings all the way around two and they're super sharp i can tell you that treble hooks there is that square bill look at that it's got angled out corners on it that really i've man, i've had the one that I actually had the muskie on, I'll be totally honest with you and transparent, I lost it not long after I <laughs> caught that muskie. But uh, I had snagged that lure up on the bottom about a dozen times plus, including breaking the leader. I was able to retrieve it every single time because this thing really has a tendency, the way it's designed, you can kind of see the length of the hook compared to the lip. It's actually a little bit shorter than the lip there. So if it gets snagged, it's going to bump, get a little bit snagged up on stuff. The hooks won't necessarily just penetrate into whatever's in the bottom. When you break it off or you, you give it a little bit of slack or pop it or get a reverse pull on it, that thing's going to pop up and come loose a whole lot better than any other crankbait I've ever had, actually. I'm really surprised at it. There were several times, like I said, where I actually broke the leader, and then I'd see this bloop, float up the top and start drifting downstream. Awesome. So again, you got the kind of like blood pattern here on the bottom. It's got a really thick molded end bill on it. So this thing, I mean, seriously, I should probably take this and put some vice grips on it and try to break it. 
I'm getting no flex at all in it. And I beat the snot out of crankbaits, especially on the river here. And the first thing that goes is that lip, especially those clear lips that are like a, sec like a secondary piece of plastic molded into it, you know, glued in there. They pop right out or break in half. This one is solid. And again, it's part of the head of the lure. So if you get a snag or you're going through a lot of crap in the water, that angle there, there's nothing to catch on except for your tie point, which really is nothing about. You can do about that anyway, right? But it just go drifts right over. It just like slides right through stuff like other crankbaits aren't going to do, right? Almost like an old school Bayou Boogaloo, if you've ever seen those. We had one of them we talked about not too long ago. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's got that, again, it, that's flat. So it's less of a nothing there, no notches or anything to get snagged up on. Bottom again, you got that hump here for strength and durability. Again, it's got that 3D mold in it here. You can feel the gill plates are really prominent there. You can feel the pattern of the scales. Again, great touch there on the top with the logo. This is a quality lure. I love these. These are by far my favorite square lip crankbaits of all time. And I, you know, I use them all the time. That's my go-to crankbait of that style. And this one, like I said, I caught dozens and dozens of fish and broke off dozens and dozens of times on that baby bass one. And I just, dude, it just kept going for more. So now this is, these are gonna last me a while. Planning to get out on the water tomorrow with my buddy Matt and uh, test out a bunch of the stuff that he's experimenting with for wake up jigging. And of course, get these. And like I said, in the uh, coming weeks, we're actually gonna get these out and do some filming with the Thunderhawk crew on the Susquehanna. That's gonna be really cool too. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Buy with confidence with these lures. These are awesome. Really cool. If you're not familiar with what an A10 Warthog is, Google it. You really need to know. They're really cool. Awesome, awesome plane. But uh, yeah, these lures are really, really cool too. Big shout out to Hawk and Chief Dove from Thunderhawk for hooking me up with these. Uh, getting me a great deal. We're going to definitely put them through the paces. We're going to catch a lot of fish on these. We're going to show you that footage too. So uh, if you haven't yet, be sure to click and subscribe to the Fish Yacker YouTube channel so you'll see these lures in action. Uh, you'll be able to see our river reports in the Susquehanna, our lure reviews, all that fun stuff. So be sure to click and subscribe if you haven't already, okay? Helps us out with the analytics too. And give us that thumbs up on the video. Share it through all your social media networks too. Help us get the word out. And uh, definitely go to Thunderhawk Lures. Take a look at what they have to offer. They got everything from crankbaits to lipless crankbaits to jigs, spinner baits. Come out with some new stuff, soft plastics. They got the uh, the, cr the craw. We're going to show that probably one of the next videos. Uh, I've actually shown uh, some smallmouth being caught on those too, on the camel craw. But uh, some new cool lures are uh, in design too. So again, give us a thumbs up, share the video on all your social media outlets, subscribe to Fish Yacker, and we'll catch you on the water. Fishyacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.